Hi, this is Dan with Lancaster Archery Supply. Today we're going to review ramrod stabilizers. We have the ramrod classic model here. Uh, it's offered in three lengths that we carry, 26, 28, and 30 inch. And this particular uh, carbon rod you'll notice is very small in diameter, just a half inch diameter. Um, with that small diameter, along with the carbon that they're using, makes for a very stiff carbon rod. Uh, the end caps are actually made of stainless steel, which will help balance those carbon, uh, the carbon rod and the feel of the stabilizer as well. You notice on the front end of the stabilizer where it's attaching to the bow, you have um, basically an access hole here where you can tighten down the stabilizer with an Allen wrench or, or key to in ensure that it is very tight on the stabilizer. Standard 5 16 24 threads on it. Um, then you move over to the weight end of the stabilizer. Uh, again, this end cap stainless steel. And they have a unique uh, universal uh, end, uh, weight system where the stud for it can actually, you can utilize a 5 16 24 or quarter 20 weights. Um, kind of makes it universal so you can, you have a lot of options there on what weights you can use. Um, this is a uh, rod that you'll see Olympic archer Zach Garrett use and it's specifically uh, designed and crafted by some of the top Olympic style archers shooting. Overall um, this is going to give an archer a great feel of uh, stability especially in wind conditions where you have a small rod you're not affected by the cross winds. The recovery time on the stabilizer is very fast so you don't notice any kind of hand shock in the bow or limb flutter caused by the stabilizers. So it's very stable to a heavy weight because of its stiff, uh, stiff rod and a, and a small diameter help it stabilize, especially if you're adding a lot of weight to your end of your rods, uh, you won't notice that effect in the bow and the reaction of the stabilizer. Thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up if you liked the video. If you have any additional questions, please visit LancasterArchery.com.